people, what's up? It's your girl Nikki Sparks. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I always used to make relaxed hair care content. I'm still making relaxed hair care content, but I am transitioning. I've been relaxed for 19 years. This year mark 19 years of me relaxing my hair so this is a whole new journey for me so if you're new here i hope that you embark on this journey with me where i'm rediscovering my natural hair because you guys i don't even remember my natural hair texture so this is all gonna be new for me i invite you to subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss none of my videos and let's get started so today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys my daily routine post wash day and pre wash day so this is something that i do every day in the morning before i have to head out of the house and also in the night before i go to sleep first things first this is my hair um i woke up and as you can see it looks crazy right <laughs> i'm transitioning so if you saw my previous video which i invite you to go check on why i am transitioning after so long of being relaxed you will understand everything on my previous video so on the front part um five months i am five months post relaxer because i didn't relax the front of my hair but i did kind of relax the back of my hair on december so the back of my hair is like one month post relaxer and the front is five months post relaxer what has been like leveling up my my new growth from the back in the front has been none other than rosemary water and everything rosemary <laughs> later on i'll be filming more videos i'll showing you guys how i am improving my hair growth with rosemary and all the other good stuff that i just use on my hair so i take my rosemary water i have rosemary this is rosemary and cinnamon water so first i just spray before i comb my hair i just spray my hair my scalp with the rosemary water so i just go like this roughly like i just go in sections And I just spray and massage don't mind these two friends here no not friends enemies here there's that time of the month and lately um, every time lately every time that time the time of the month does arrive I just be getting some bumps I'm 20 years old already and I've been dealing with with pimples like for my entire life and I'm kind of sick of it sometimes it stop sometimes they come back I really don't know what else to do I spent so much money on skincare since I was like what 12 years old um, as you can see the back of my hair have some pretty good new growth already I don't know if you can see it from the camera and it's all thanks to the rosemary water that I've been putting non-stop every day Oh, I love you too. Oh. Mm. You, you don't talk about um, um, to spray my hair. No, because this video is not about you. You sit want down. to spray my hair too? Yes, I do. Stay. Okay, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> so, my daughter is there telling me I have to tell you guys that I also spray rosemary water on her hair as well. <laughs> I just do it from time to time. If you want me to show you how I do my rosemary water, just let me know in the comment section. I will also do rosemary water and onion water. <gasps> but that, I just use it. The rosemary water and onion water, I just use it as a pre -poo. Mixed in my pre and the rosemary and cinnamon daily. Because I'm not about to be smelling like an onion <laughs> every single day. So that's why I leave it as to mix it with my pre -poo. You can see the front has way more new growth. It's very puffy already. And rosemary water helps with hair growth, dandruff, um, hair loss, 
and a lot of more things so after I spray all my scalp with the rosemary water I gently I just do a little massage nothing much that what I do morning and night I spray my scalp with rosemary water then depending on my hair I will moisturize I don't moisturize just to moisturize I moisturize when needed and I always do that even when my hair was fully relaxed so I just always make sure moisturize my roots this is the moisturizer I use and it's very useful because it have the spray I can spray it directly to the roots and as well I can spray it on my hand to apply it on my ends I got a question that um, I'm gonna put it on the screen and yes I do take care of both texture but I just prioritize my roots I just moisturize briefly like this Let's take this low and just go on the ends like this I no longer go like section by section to get the ends if I go section by section it's mostly after wash day um, to get my, my roots one of the two hairstyles that I've been using lately that I really like is the side part um, it makes I find it look pretty like that always the side part I usually I will insert a picture um, the side part bun the side part bun with my ends tucked in the one I'm gonna do today that I started doing not so long ago that I really like that I really enjoy is the side part with the two buns See why you have to be careful with the hair because if I was going if I had went rough there I would break I would break my hair so I just do like this and I'm don't be like focused for it to be as straight as possible as decent as possible so once I reach the middle I just go straight down and I always use my finger to guide me keeping my hair Part out of the way like this and then I just use a little bit more moisturizer in the middle just detangle a little bit more so that's done now so then I will take my handy dandy notebook <laughs> <laughs> like from it's blues cute. clues i used to love yeah i used I love to love blues. i used to love blues clues with steve and i love blues clues too <laughs> blues clues and you <laughs> and so i'm gonna use my gel and i love always loved the echo gel coconut or the castor oil and flaxseed for now, that's the gel that has always worked for me and for my daughter. Okay, I'm going to take my brush. Anyways, I don't know what type of brush this is, but all I know is that it's not hard and it's not too soft. It's just, it's just right. So since I have a lot of new growth in front, I have to basically like part here. So I'm going to take some gel and basically just apply it here. Gel has been my best friend lately when it comes to combing my transition in here. I slick it a little bit. Like this. You see how it went down in volume? That's what I'm looking for. Now I'm going to do this part. And as well, I'm going to be applying a little bit of gel. Not too much because sometimes it gets a little bit too wet. And when I'm brushing through, it feels like... I'm not brushing anything. Slick down. Pick the rest of the hair. And now I'm gonna take this little scrunchie. Do like this. On this side, I'm going to do the same thing, but as you can see, on this side, 
there's less puffiness and less hair because as you can see i took some of the hair of this side to do the side bun but i'm going to put some gel as well here in the middle and i'm going to slick it down so i'm gonna do the same thing and try to have it on the same level and then if it's too too tight i just kind of pull it like this i'm gonna leave the front for when i'm finished then i just take a little bit of mousse I have this mousse from olive from ORS wrap set mousse. I just take one pump like this, but like half a pump, and I just put it on my ends, and then I just do like this. I just wrap it, but not tight, you know. So I just do like this. Like this. You see, like this. And then I just use little bobby pins and just secure the hair. Just come back, grab it, and re and secure it as well. And I just take these ones like this. I'm gonna do the same step on the other side. I'm gonna fix the front of my hair now. I'll be taking from here like this. I don't have a lot of edges, so I work with what I have. Put the sideburn as well. And just curl it like this. Kill the ends. I find that it's super cute. And I'll also do here in front. Clip. <laughs> and also the bantu knot but the bantu knot i'll just be doing it like for special occasion and maybe this weekend when i wash my hair i will do bantu knots and if i do when i do have time i will make a video a tutorial so yeah you guys so yeah you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that you really enjoyed this tutorial tutorial slash showing you guys my my daily routine with my now transitioning hair and um, this hairstyle i really like it i don't know about you if you like it but i do i like it so i hope that you did enjoy it also follow me on instagram because i am also active over there and sometimes on tiktok but i'm mostly on instagram and youtube and now that i have embarked in this new natural hair um, journey where I am transitioning after 19 years of being relaxed if you want to embark in this journey with me subscribe to my channel like this video if you did share it with a friend who is also transitioning so yeah you guys see you on my next one I hope that you have a blessed day a blessed week a blessed year a blessed month and take care see you on my next one Mwah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.